Just yeah, to it's start good. talking? It's good. Okay. So it's now? No. No? Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Marguerite de Corcel, uh, also known as Coin Artist. And this is my first piece that I made. It's called Dark Wallet. It was a Bitcoin puzzle. And I made it in 2014. And it had, at the time, 3.74 Bitcoin embedded in, into this puzzle trail. Uh, this was a starting image. And then players would find different puzzles in it that would lead them onto games or puzzles on the internet. And it would come back to this piece. And so it just, um, this was the core center piece for the entire puzzle game that happened. We had a Minecraft server yes. and it had puzzles in it. And um, yeah, so, so yeah, this was a really, so uh, this, this is actually Cody Wilson and Amir Takai from, uh, at the time, Dark Wallet, that's a Dark Wallet logo. And um, if you're familiar with Dark Queen, Dark Queen eventually became Dash. Dash, yes. Yeah. Um, but back in the day, in 2014, Dark Queen was cool. It was like Bitcoin with privacy, right? So for everybody, they were just eating up that branding. And um, nobody really talked about the security of the actual code, though. Right. Like, so anyways, um, yeah, so that was this piece. And then um, not too long after, it started something called The Legend of Satoshi Nakamoto, which was a big elaborate puzzle trail that um, started with multiple different digital puzzle pieces. And in the end, uh, the, the players found this art piece. And this is a print of an actual, um, this is much smaller than the original. The original is oil pastel, but the uh, private key was encoded into the bits of information and the flames. And you have a key here that told you, uh, had the, it was a cipher key. And then you also had the Greek keys here. I tried to be very literal about where the information was, right? Like the important information. Um, so the heights and the widths and the colors were all information that was needed in order to decode. Um, and also the direction in which you read the flames was important. Uh, the entire piece is, uh, so this is the phoenix and the, and the turtle, which is a famous Shakespearean uh, poem. So a lot of that reference points where you're kicking off into like how to read the rest of the piece. So, um, it's, it's five bit, Bitcoin, it's, you know? Oh yeah, so this one, right, had, I put five Bitcoin into it back in 2015 when Bitcoin was $250 yes. at the very bottom of the bear mar market. And uh, coincidentally, this poem is about the death of something and the prayer that maybe it will reemerge again. So it's just interesting that I did that like in the same time that Bitcoin was dead or dying uh -huh. and, and then it, like a phoenix, you know, came back with a vengeance in the following years. So, uh, well, price-wise, I think, you know, um, and, and now, you know, I think everyone's been complaining about a bear market with Bitcoin, but if you've been in this space for a while, uh, we're still doing really pretty well. So <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so someone saw this in February. Um, I can't really say much about him because the, com the country that he lives in, it's illegal to have cryptocurrency. Um, but he makes puzzles for me now. So, uh, yeah, he's the next uh, puzzle after the next puzzle after this. Yes. So then uh, I made this one, uh, which was uh, what where uh, a Bitcoin puzzle. And uh, in this one, I included the public address as part of the encoding. And I used the I Ching uh, Chinese I Ching binary to uh, reveal the player. It's pretty easy to translate. It just reads like normal I Ching. And um, you get the public address, which then told you it had something like I think it was one point five. Uh, Bitcoin in the puzzle and then these strings of information here were the private key but it was a mini private key so the trick about this is probably people were looking for a regular private key but a mini private key you can turn into a barcode so this was actually the instructions to create a barcode and then when you scan the barcode you received the Bitcoin the yeah. difficulty uh, increased of uh... no this actually took two months too much. That's it, right. I know. And for me, right. So it's actually really hard to gauge how difficult a Bitcoin puzzle is. Um, yeah. You never know. Uh, so that one, that the one flame in piece, there, um, the torch hearts piece that took three years to solve that I just showed you earlier, actually, um, the person that solved it only worked on it for three months. It's just that people kind of talked themselves out of it and, and gave up. So um, yeah, that's, that's a, a snapshot of my uh, early work. And then I've taken a lot of these same ideas and now I make more interact. So now we've launched a game studio 
and we, our uh, puzzles, games are more interactive and we're trying to push the idea of not just one user walking away with a prize, but allowing game assets to be ownership that are prizes also, like for interacting with the game. And then uh, they create value. So everyone starts at the base level, just like in one of these experiences, you have the same shot as anybody else. Um, but in the game, your game mechanics and the gameplay derives the value of the assets. So then you can go trade and win your first Ethereum or Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, so I really believe in the idea of uh, mass adoption and people yes. being able to come in with just skill and, and be able to walk away with something valuable. It's good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>